So what do we know so far? There's going to be a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, which we're all excited about, no doubt. Now, the thing is, is that the closer that we get to this Nintendo Direct, obviously we're going to be seeing these leaks mass produced now. 4chan's going to be running amok. And for some reason, some of the guys at 4chan seem to think that I usually associate a thread game archived with the legitimacy of it, which isn't exactly the case. If I want to further explain myself, so basically, I'm trying to keep track of exactly like which leaks are more plausible, which ones are more realistic, blah, blah, blah. The main thing right now is that we probably have to sift through all the bullshit because mainly now there are going to be so many text leaks out there that you really can't take them for face value. The only things that should be taken relatively serious or even given a little bit of merit is anything that has a picture or a video. Anything like that and we could potentially be seeing something big. But anyways, now in terms of leaks for Mewtwo, there's actually something which is running amok online right now. Unfortunately, I fucked up and I watched the video before I could react and give you guys my fresh impressions on it. So we're going to be watching it together. It's my, it'll be my second time watching it, but you guys probably already saw the video anyways. It involves Mewtwo from Smash Wii U, apparently in some kind of leak. Oh wait, that's the Game of Thrones main theme. Okay, anyway, so here we go. Let's watch through this to see exactly what's going on. I'm only in a rush right now because my camera has limited memory storage because my SD card fucked up, so I have to use a 4 gig until my 32 gig comes in tomorrow. Let's see what's going on with this leak. I've seen this already, but you guys probably haven't. Maybe. So it shows Mewtwo and Captain Falcon in... Man, it, it looks really convincing. I'm gonna let you guys see it yourselves before I give you my thoughts on it. Yeah, so you guys obviously saw what it was. It's supposedly Mewtwo in Smash Brothers for Wii U. It's a Smash Wii U stage. Captain Falcon is in there. And it looks like it fits the bill pretty damn well. The fact of the matter is that the whole stage seems like it's accurate. Even has the waterfall going on in the background right there. Is this stage called Norfair? Norfair? I, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I know it's the stage of Ridley, of course. Is this like a joke? That whoever made this put Mewtwo on Ridley stage to kind of mock me? But I mean, <laughs> anyways. Now, there's a lot of reasons as to why I think this is fake, and I think they'll be relatively obvious to some of you guys, but for those of you who didn't catch on, this Mewtwo, even though it looks pretty accurate, everything looks pretty accurate, there's problems with the um, life gauges on the bottom because there's no actual life counter thing shown. I mean, maybe it's a different kind of match, you can argue that. But the main thing that shows me why this is fake is mainly when Mewtwo gets up from the stage. Look at this in slow motion. I want you to pay attention to Mewtwo. Pay attention to Mewtwo as he gets up from the ledge. I'm sorry. Maybe to some of you this may not make sense, but I understand exactly what's going on here. Sakurai would never allow, he would never allow a model to transfer through frames like that. So rigidly, so choppy. There's no way on the face of this planet that that would be something Sakurai would allow. So of course this Mewtwo model is fake. I'm guessing this is most likely Brawl. The Captain Falcon looks like he's even from Brawl. Probably with some updated shaders or textures in order to make the thing look a little bit more legitimate. It does look convincing, but after seeing just the choppiness that Mewtwo has in his frame data, it just does not seem legitimate to me. Especially once Mewtwo gets off the ledge. Look at that! Did you guys see the transfer from how he went from a running animation to stopping? Way too choppy for it to be legitimate. And that alone is enough for me to say this is definitely a fake. Because Daddy Sakurai takes so much work in putting these characters in the game as smooth as possible. And there's no way in hell he would let something like that go past him. So this is definitely fake. But I mean, let's see some comments anyways of what you guys had to say. YouTube leap for Smash. Definitely not real. Moving around that is stupid. At least show moves in a final Smash. Exactly. It's fake. Of course, this is a Brawl mod, of course. Um, Etika, this looks legit, Mewtwo leave my dick. <laughs> nah, nah, not legit. Um, drink, or legit. it's a Brawl mod, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, even my dude WWW Wario is here. Not gonna be fooled by this one. His animations look way too bad. That's exactly what I was saying. It just doesn't seem clean. It's not the way that Daddy Sakurai would implement a character. Just look when he gets up from the ledge. Oh, he points out the exact example that I was... I didn't see the comments before the video. I'm just reading them now. When he lands, it looks like he just slides forward. His legs look too big, too. And why don't we see any attacks? I call it fake. My friends, that's basically the consensus right there. So now, at least you're all informed. This is definitely a fake, but I'll be keeping you guys updated as to what the hell is going on for later on as we get closer and closer to the Nintendo Direct. 
We have about 24 hours left right now. 22, maybe, in some time zone. I don't know. Either way, guys, prepare yourselves. I'm going to be trying to keep you on top of these leaks at all times. I'll be hosting a little bit of a live stream before the Direct even begins, so make sure to come check that out if you're going to be available. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be keeping you updated. Take care of yourselves on the course as usual. Please have yourself a damn good one.